Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be reading your Dream Star Stable updates that you guys sent me over on my community tab and on my Instagram story. Thank you guys so much for sending in your submissions, and remember, if you'd like to participate in these kind of things again, just be sure to go follow me on Instagram or keep an eye on my community tab on my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to read all of these. You guys are so creative. The first submission says i want to decorate the stalls and i also want lead changes me too i feel like we've all been a little bit delusional with the leads on this game i mean it's pretty impressive if you're trying to hold the counter lead but in most of the cases on this game you're just cantering around and it's really frustrating i'm sure for realistic role players to be counter cantering when you're not supposed to decorating stalls would be so cute if we could maybe just change the material the stall door is made out of oh goodness that bird scared me anyways if we could maybe just change the material the stall is made out of that would be really cool i might be crazy but i feel like cc creations maybe made a video many years ago about what it would be like if we could customize our home stable in that sense changing the materials kind of around the stalls and changing a few colors i just remember being so amazed by that video i had no idea how they managed to make it look like that and look so real next this one says other dog breeds i'd love to have dachshunds in the game like my dogs yes yes a thousand times i would simply pass away if we got dog breeds in this game specifically popular ones like the dachshund or a golden retriever or a german shepherd or just all of the above i would be extra excited if they came out with an australian shepherd because that's what my dog is and i'm just obsessed just imagine a little dachshund running next to your horse on star stable that would be so cute i don't think i'd be able to handle that and it's also a little bit strange that they only have your Vic Terriers in the game and not specific breeds, but I think it's more because once they cross that threshold of adding breeds, I feel like they need to add breeds of all of the birds and cats and bunnies, etc. But I will be patiently waiting for when they decide to do that because I will go insane. The next one says to be able to swim with your horse. How convenient. I'm galloping through the water right now. Yes, that would be so cool. Cool. It's really annoying to always fall in the water and be told that the water is too deep. How did you know it was too deep for my horse? Maybe my horse can swim really well. It would be nice if our horses had like an animation that would turn on if we got in deep water. I mean, they could still leave the the water is too deep respawn thing if we went too far out in the ocean. But for little ponds like this, like swimming right now... <laughs> That's just a little bit crazy. I feel like my horse is fine. It would be cool if our horses could swim just a little bit, but I understand how they don't really want people swimming from South Hoof to Fort Pinta or something crazy like that. Oh, see, this is so annoying. Like, what is going on? I am not swimming right now. Next, it says infinite shillings. I don't know why those emojis just made me giggle. Infinite shillings would be so convenient. It's really annoying to have to collect the perfect amount of shillings at all times and ending up losing shillings when you're trying to sell things. And it also doesn't make sense if star coins can be infinite, but shillings can't. Sounds kind of sketchy if you ask me. The next submission says being able to play with keyboard on mobile this would be really nice i didn't know i don't play mobile a lot but when i do it's usually for club events or places where i can't access a computer but i didn't know that you couldn't play with a keyboard on mobile because that would be so nice i've never thought about it because i don't own one of those magic keyboards that attach to an ipad if you could play with that keyboard it would probably be so wonderful that would make mobile so much easier Mobile in general just really challenges me. I'm not the best star stable player, so having a keyboard would help me out a lot because I feel like it takes a lot of hand-eye coordination to play star stable mobile and I just have about zero of that. 
The next submission says, for our stable paddock to be an actual paddock for horses that aren't in a stall, I actually received another submission that said something similar along these lines. Paddocks, it would be so cool to see your horses roam around and interact with each other. I think this would be absolutely amazing in so many ways. I think it could be easy to make if they just made it an area in your home stable that's private. And maybe even it means that when you enter the area, you can't ride your horse just to prevent glitching. But it would be so cool for your horses not to have to rot away and who knows where when they're in your horse list in your home stable. I think it would also be really cool if your horses had preferences on which horses they wanted to be turned out with. That would be so adorable. Or maybe certain breeds have preferences to go out with other breeds so then they could gain more horse XP if you turn them out together. But it would just be really cute to be able to go out and feed your horse horses treats or just see them grazing in the field. They could kind of make it how they have it on the Star Stable Horses app, but maybe in the game where you can go up to the side of the fence and feed them things. That would just make me really happy. <laughs> I always miss these little recyclables. I'm trying to get the cat, no surprise, from Big Bonnie. I am obsessed with the cats on Star Stable. The next one says, new Connies. I know they've talked about a Gen 4 Frisian and I'd love to see a Connie in their style. Me too. I feel like we're needing a smaller horse breed because they've come out with the Dutch Warmbloods and the Ardennes recently and I think it's about time for either a pony breed or a small horse. Please feel free to correct me in the comments. I can't remember if the Connemara is a pony technically or if it's a horse but I think they would look so cute in Star Stable style too. I don't even hate the old Connemaras. I think they're pretty good for when they came out and their animations aren't bad and they have pretty cute faces. They don't look weird or derpy like some of the other old horses. I really like the way they jump too. But I totally agree with you there. I think they would look great in this game and I'm really excited if they were to come out with them soon. I do know next in line I think is the American Saddlebred and the Frisian. But hopefully we can get news soon on what the next breed is going to be. The next one says the option to decorate your stable or a cute little house slash room to decorate. This would be revolutionary. I would would have so much fun. It would be like Animal Crossing combined with Star Stable. I just don't think there could be anything better than getting to design your own house or apartment or something along those lines. I would go crazy with my decorating. I could totally see myself spending hours just decorating it, but I think it would also add something else entertaining to the game. Just another thing for players to work on over time and just an extra level of creativity to the game to make your player more unique. That's a really good dream update. I would love that. Next, it says martingales, blankets, and ear bonnets. This would be amazing. I think the horses in Star Stable would just look so adorable in little ear bonnets and if they came in different patterns or colors, it would be so cute. I can just imagine the cute close-up pictures with the horses in ear bonnets and I think it would add a lot more freedom to the people in the realistic roleplay community and especially since they've been trying to revamp the show jumping system, I think it would be really cool to get ear bonnets when they complete that. As for martingales, I think that could be true tricky just because our reins already still glitch into the horse's neck and that's been going on for years and I think if they added martingales it would just make everything way more problematic and super glitchy but if they did them correctly to where they fit every horse really well and moved with the horse I think it could be really cute and really cool but at the same time I kind of like the way horses look and tack without martingales the only reason martingales are there are for a purpose and I believe it's to help hold your saddle forward and keep the horse's head at a normal position. But in this game, I feel like horses don't really need that. Also, obviously our character's saddle can't slide off, so I don't know that they're needed, but I do think that they would be cool to have. I think the easiest thing to bring into the game would be the blankets. They could be something that you could only attach to your horse if you weren't riding maybe just to prevent things from glitching and putting tack items on top of blankets or things like that. <laughs> 
Okay, well, I just crashed into another tree. I think blankets would be really cute and just something fun to put on your horse in the stable or when you're leading it around. But I think they would need to have some restrictions on that. For example, maybe you couldn't put on a saddle when horses are wearing blankets or if you are riding the horse with a blanket on that there's no glitching going on because I think that could look really weird and cause lots of lag and problems. The same thing stands. If they did it really well, I think it would be amazing and I would love to see it added to the game. The next two submissions came from my community tab and this one's pretty large, so get ready. This one says, Fairy at Mistfall, more updated champs. Updated starter horses have the horse bazaar once per month, a way of earning star coins in the game. Functional pets like have them do certain tasks leasing out your horse to other players others can borrow your horse for probably seven days would be acceptable and they can train slash care for your horse unique tack breastplates ear bonnets etc wow that's a lot thank you so much for submitting so starting with the fairy at mistfall i wonder why we would need a fairy at mistfall feel free to comment on this video whoever submitted this and tell me why you want a fairy at mistfall because that's a really Really unique and different dream update. I never would have thought to put a fairy there, but that might help if you didn't want to take the trailer there. But I don't know if there are any quests where you would need to travel from either Yarlahem, Yar oh my goodness, I struggle with that one, Yarlaheim, Fort Pinta, or South Hoof to Mistfall, but that's really cool and I've never thought about that. More updated champs, definitely. I think that they're working on that since they've been updating so many recently and I think they'll eventually get them all done and potentially add some new ones hopefully for our starter horses i actually don't hate them i think the model is okay and as the horse that you start with i think they kind of fit being just a little less i don't want to say fancy but just a little less like a specific breed that you can recognize the fact that they kind of look extra cartoony slash are a jorvik warm blood i think that fits for being your first horse there are definitely factors to them like their animations and gates that could be improved but the mold for them mold i don't even know what to call it the model that's a better word the model for those horses is pretty good it's not bad it could be worse having the horse bazaar once per month would be so amazing i would be so happy i think it's just a good way to discount horses that have maybe been out for a while and i think it also just inspires players to buy them and i think it's a helpful tool for not only star stable but for just players that wanted a horse that maybe couldn't afford it during the time that they were released. A way of earning star coins. That is something I have been wanting for decades at this point or just being able to sell things that you bought for star coins and get your star coins back would be improvement but it is pretty discouraging that you can't get star coins any other way than purchasing them so i definitely agree with that one that's definitely on the top of my list too functional pets having them do tasks for you that would be amazing especially for quests that are really boring and they want to make you cut down trees or pick up things if you could just send your dog over to do it that can be amazing and that's also just such a good idea i've never even thought of that i think that kind of goes along with maybe adding some more personality to the pets just because i feel like all they do right now is kind of sit around or chase us around you know honestly sometimes i feel kind of bad for the pets because they've been running next to my horse for four days they probably get so tired i mean i know i couldn't run with a horse for four days The leasing out your horse, that's so cool too, especially if a player wanted a horse but didn't want to buy it yet. And that could be maybe an extra way to earn shillings. I just don't know that many people would want to lease out a horse in this game only because they could just buy the horse themselves. The feature of leasing a horse in real life I feel like is used only if you want to ride a particular horse that you can't get anywhere else or there's some special quality about that horse that you want. But in this game, it kind of defeats the purpose of leasing 
racing if you can just get the horse yourself. I think that's something else that kind of introduces the idea of breeding in this game. It would be so difficult because they would have to add thousands of different variations of horses and coats. That would be the only way that we would be able to sell or lease horses to other players if they were just unique and nobody else could get them. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless, but it would definitely be something really cool and it would be kind of fun to just lend a horse to a friend for a weekend. Okay, I didn't finish reading your sentence there. You said that they could train or care for your horse. That would totally make it worthwhile. So if Star Stable released a leasing program where you could train your friend's horses, that would be amazing. Or even if they just added a feature where you could train your friend's horses and get shillings or star coins or something. I would totally do that. I love training. The next one says updated star coin allowance. I think that would be amazing, especially with all of the redeem codes that we've been getting. I think they just want to keep the allowance at 100 star coins, but if they surprised me with having 200 star coins, per week that would be fantastic <laughs> because it is really annoying that you have to wait two or three months i can't remember to get a new horse in this game that is seems a little bit crazy especially when there are no other ways to do it other than that you can't farm for star coins or earn them any other way so i definitely agree with you on that i think those were all of the submissions that i received but i'll go ahead and tell you guys my dream update i think i would really really like them to update the valley of the hidden diamond dinosaur. It's just such a pretty area and has so much potential. And I really like the mysterious aura that the area gives and it's just so nostalgic for this game. So at the same time, I don't want them to update it because it'll be different. <laughs> I know that they can make it so amazing, especially with the snow effects that they gave us during the winter village. It would look so good and it would be so fun to go there and have that snow all year round, especially with the blizzards or the tornadoes that they had during the winter event where you could get winter tokens by going to the blizzard tornadoes. If they could have certain areas of Dino Valley where that blizzard was going on, I think that would be so cool and so beautiful. And adding a home staple there too would be amazing. I think my dream updates in general all just have to do with releasing new areas. I think that we need more extreme weather situations. If we had a desert or just updating Dino Valley, I think that would be so cool, especially with all of the horses being from different parts of the world. I think it would be fun to have those areas represented in the game. And that kind of brings me back to being sad about them taking away the cold tolerance from horses. So that kind of makes me a little less hopeful that they will do this but maybe they can still do it and just have no horses be extra tolerant Alrighty, you guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed seeing everyone's dream updates don't forget to follow me on my instagram or keep an eye on my community tab on my youtube channel to stay updated with what's going on on my channel and what's coming next if you enjoyed this please subscribe and i can't wait to see you in the next video bye